Hello and welcome to Woodfired Weekly, where this week we're going to be making an English classic, Told in the Hole. This is the batter out of our wood-fired flatbreads and pancakes, the Yorkshire pudding batter. Similar sort of thing, we might just make it a little bit looser for this recipe. So, plain flour, pinch of salt, make a well in the middle of there, and throw in some eggs. We're going for four eggs. A little bit of milk into there and mix that up. You don't want all the liquid in to start with, otherwise you might get lumps in your batter. And it should end up as a nice thick mixture and that allows you to break down the, the lumps a little bit. So a little bit of elbow grease at this point. And then we start adding more milk and water, not all at once. And once we've mixed this up, we're going to let it stand for half an hour or so, and you'll find that during that time, the batter thickens up a little bit. In we go, mix that up and set that aside for half an hour. And half an hour is about what we need to make our onion gravy. So into the pan with some sunflower oil and a good old pile of onions. Oil over the top and then we want to cook that nice and slowly. So I'm preparing my oven here for baking the toad in the hole. So that's going to be quite hot, but I'm just going to sit that in in the front there, away from the fire, allow that to slowly cook, drive off the liquid from the onion. It becomes sweeter, all the bitterness disappears. It's going to make a fantastic base for our gravy. I'm going to give this onion a stir once in a while, just to make sure it all cooks nice and evenly and that we don't get too much browning around the edges. So the secret to these onions is, is patience, cooking them nice and slowly, so that after half an hour or so, they've reduced by two thirds, ready for us to make a simple gravy. And in the meantime, I've got my pan in here heating up. Into my pan, I'm gonna put some lard. So we've got sausages, pork, we're going for lard, pork, this would probably even more traditionally be cooked with beef dripping. No problem. We're going to get that nice and hot and then in with the sausages, in with the batter, into the oven. So I can see smoke coming off my, off my lard there. Then in with the sausages, we've got some nice big fat sausages for this. We've got big fat pork sausages wrapped in bacon. In with some red onion, just sort of scatter that around here and there. And again, for me, a little sprinkle of, of thyme will bring all of that together beautifully. And then straight in with the batter we made earlier. Straight back into the oven. We're a little bit over 20 minutes. Let's have a look. Well, that looks fantastic. Lovely and puffed up. Nice and firm there. I am going to probe the sausages. Having a probe thermometer puts our mind at rest that we're nicely up in the safe zone, which we are. And now we're going to very quickly make the gravy. So I'm going to make up a fire or uh, increase the fire very quickly. So to bring the fire back to life, some small bits of wood. Pop those on there, let those warm up, and then I'm gonna use my super blower to give them a puff of air. So as that fire comes back into life, I'm gonna pop the onions back in to warm up. So we've got a lovely bright fire burning now, and I can hear that my 
onions are back up to a sizzle. Lovely and brown, beautiful sweet smell coming off those. Tablespoon or so of plain flour. Stir that in as our thickener. And I just want to cook that for a couple of minutes to get rid of the floweriness. So back into the oven with that. Being careful not to burn the onions. That's been a couple of minutes for the flour. And now we're going in with liquid. We, we could use some stock. We're going to use some beer. Beer and sausages, what a perfect combination. I'm also going to have a little squirt of vinegar. White wine vinegar in this case. And also, in every gravy I've ever made, there's been a spoonful of, a generous spoonful of grain mustard. And a bit of salt and pepper, of course. Mix all of that in, back into the oven, let that simmer for a few minutes. So the gravy's been simmering for five minutes or so. We've got a nice thick sauce, not too thick, not too thin. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Fabulous. So there's our told in the hole, beautiful autumnal family dish, caramelized onion gravy, all ready to go. Thank you for joining us on Wood Fired Weekly. We'll provide the notes and the recipe. Uh, if you click on the link below, that'll be on our blog. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you next time.